covering the week's top tech stories with a slight Linux bias. Ring, Amazon's video doorbell system, has introduced additional steps to the way users log into their accounts and is making two-factor verification mandatory. Nice. Users will need to enter a password and unique six-digit code when they first log in to view their security footage or access the Neighbors app. Two-factor authentication was an option for Ring users before, but it was not the default setting. On Tuesday, Ring also said it would pause its data sharing with third-party firms. The change comes as Ring and Amazon face increasing scrutiny about privacy protection and data sharing. In a blog post, Ring's president, Alila Rohi, said the company takes, quote, digital security and privacy seriously, end quote, and would look at additional ways to improve security. Ring's new login system will be similar to other two-factor authentication processes. After signing in with the username and password, the app will ask to send a text message or email with a one-time six-digit code. Once the code is entered, the user will have access to the app and be able to view footage from outdoor and indoor cameras. Owners will then be able to use their mobile apps for 30 days before they are required to go through the two-step process again, unless they log out of their account in the meantime. Last week, Nest, Google's home security device, began requiring two-factor authentication as well. Good move. I like yeah. this. I like that they're making it a compulsory thing. Not a fan of the 30-day window, though. Why? How come? Uh, I think it should be shorter. To be honest. But if you log out, but because I'm thinking like, because this is my computer. Yeah. Right. So it's only going to remember it on my computer. Right. If I switch to a different computer or somebody tries to compromise my account, they're going to need the 2FA in order to sign in. Mm -hmm. Right. But still, I feel like 30 days is a long time. But you can log out. Let's say you don't log out. Like how much can be accessed in those 30 days on potentially a shared device? I mean, I would hope that you're not using it on a shared device, but I think for yeah. a lot of people you know, well, on a home computer or maybe like a, a laptop or something, I, I, I'm assuming this is also going to be the same case with phones if you're viewing on your phone. Like, right. I think that, that likely 30 days is the mandatory. You can probably set it to be more frequent. I would hope want. so. I mean, I have a lot of two-factor authentication devices and most of them I just set to every time i think also though you're you're putting a local spin on the security right you're thinking along the terms of somebody breaking into your house and having access to your security cameras but if they have that then you, they're already in yeah no no <laughs> fair enough i i get that but i i don't know i just to me 30 days seems long i could two weeks i'd be okay with two weeks two weeks makes sense but 30 days to me seems long what do you think should it be 45 days oh don't go there I think that the idea here is not so much the spin that you're giving it, but instead it's to prevent illicit access from outside. Yes. I don't I don't want somebody from Latvia being able to access my security camera. No, of course not. I don't want nothing against Latvia, by the way. Nothing against Latvia. <laughs> They're very peaceful people. I don't want somebody <laughs> and you can have access to my cameras. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll give you my 2FA code right now. It's six digits. Um, but my, my point is that I think that's what I'm trying to lock yes. out. I'm trying to lock down yeah. people that are trying to hack into my security cameras. I want that two-factor authentication to block that attempt. Because yeah. even if they get in, they can't get further than the 2FA because they don't have my device to get that code. Right. right. But it, it's not just text. It was also email. So yes. if they've gotten into your... But once it's a one-time use password. So once I've logged in on my computer with that 2FA code, yep. they can't use that same code again Understood. to access it on but their computer. But if they computer. have access to your, I mean, like, this is why I'm saying 30 days is not great. I would rather see You it. know what is great, though? That it's happening at all. Yes, exactly. And that it's compulsory. Is that it's, it's compulsory yes. by default, which is, that's the advantage here. Because right. Because we don't all think about, especially novice users who go to a super center and buy one of these smart cameras right. and don't know that, hey, I really need to enable 2FA. Mm -hmm. You know what? Some people are right turned off by 2FA, which blows my mind. When it I sounds have, technical, Sasha. Right. When I have people over to my house and I'm, you know, showing them my VR and I have my Steam account, it's 2FA, mm -hmm. and they're like, 
why do you have it so that it texts your phone? <laughs> and then, just next time you go to a friend, just like, be like, hey, what's the 2FA for your Wi-Fi? I yeah. know. <laughs> <laughs> and, and then I have to like explain it to them, but they're like, yeah. oh, well, like, it, like my banking is two-factor authentication. Like all, like I like it. Good. To me, it feels good. Well done. Yeah. I, Thanks. I yeah. think 2FA <laughs> should be the default for all security. For everything. Yeah. 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 It, so, it just makes sense. And it, and it, let's be clear. And Jeff, it is not perfect security. No, no. it's okay? not perfect. It's not perfect. It's not flawless. It's not uncompromisable. It's just a very good added layer of protection to prevent the, the average to fairly exceptional hacker from being able to access your stuff. Yep. That's all. So it's a really good, easy way to do that. And, and you know, it's until they come up with something better that's the best thing going so uh comment below what do you think and how many days should 2fa on your ring doorbell be set for for by default for jeff let jeff know yeah let jeff know <laughs>